Hello everyone, good morning. Welcome to Emily's Craft and Crochet. We are going to make a little purse. I ordered this zipper on Amazon. It works really good. It's uh, very heavy duty. I bought two of them. And it's the size of a coin purse because it's very small. I'm going to use this sugar and cream for my purse. I've made them before and it washes up wonderful. Now green is my favorite color and so I'm in love with this color. I'm just gonna uh, put it on a needle. It is pretty good size but this zipper that I uh, received is awesome. It has two lines so you could uh, sew on the line closest to the zipper or the one the farthest away. I did cut off a lot uh, of yarn and I did use all of it. So I decided to use the outside line, if you can see those lines. So it's going to be pretty straight. I'm just going to follow that line. So you're just going to put your needle in. This is kind of going to be a little bit like embroidery. I'm going to leave it at the tail because I am going to tie a knot when I'm done. You're going to go hold it with your finger and you're going to go in to that same hole. Hold your yarn with your fingers up top so that you have a loop. And you're going to go in a little bit up above. So it's about the size of a stitch. Look at there, isn't that pretty? And now you have a stitch. So you're going to come up, hold that again into a loop, put your needle back in where you top of the inside of that previous loop and you just keep going. We're going to do the sides a little different just because I want the sides to be a little bit more sturdy. So we're going to make these little loops all the way to the end. My needle is not very sharp. It's pretty dull, but it's going right through this uh, zipper on that line really well. I really think uh, that I'm going to like these zippers that I ordered on Amazon, and they weren't very much. can't remember how much, but I got two of them. And I like Amazon when I want something right now because it's here the next day, and the return policy is so simple. Plus, I don't leave my home very often. So this is a really nice way for me to get some stuff that's uh, inexpensive. This will be a Christmas present. Because I'm starting on those now. So here you can see that I'm at the end. So I want to show you how I'm going to go around the zipper part. So I'm going to go up. I'm going to go in that loop. Just like you have been doing. I'm just going to go across to the other side. It's my cat, Ava. So I'm just going to push it, up, pull it all the way through. And that is Miles. You know, I don't, I just ignore them and they go away. So they just want to see what's going on. They have plenty of toys. 
So I'm just going to go across. I came back over and I'm going to go across again. So there would be two strands. And then when I come back around, I'm going to do two single crochets in that area. So just remember when you come down, you're going to do two double, two single crochets in that area. Now I'm going to come up below those two strands. Now I'm just going to start doing my, my little stitch all the way down. My little eye, eye drop. They look like little eye drops. And you're going to do this all the way down, all the way around, until you're ready to start crocheting. looking good we're here at the end so just go in to the bottom of that loop go into your loop pull it tight go into that loop and you have finished your round and that look good now I don't like the ends on the other side uh, so I'm gonna tie a knot and if you don't cut them really short, they will get stuck in the zipper. Oh, that's my other cat, Duck. And so um, I like to tie a single knot. Then I like to tie another knot and wrap it around twice. And then I will be gluing this uh, so I can cut the ends off really super tight. And I do not have to worry about it coming apart. So... Those are, that's a really good knot to use. So there we go. Looks really good. So now we're ready to start crocheting around it. I have two crochet hooks. I have a 4.0, which we're going to use to crochet all the way around. Our first row, we're going to use a 3.5. It's just a little bit smaller, just so that it can be nice and tight. So we're going to make a slip knot. I'm just going to grab it, wrap it around my finger, cross it over, and now I'm just going to take that loop and I go put my fingers in between it, grab the yarn, and pull it. And there you have your slip knot. So I'm going to grab the 3.5 and I'm going to go ahead and start crocheting. Now we're going to start with a single crochet and I have chose to start right here. I'm just going to pull the yarn through and I'm going to bring it up and I'm going to grab my yarn and bring it through both loops my first single crochet. This uh, crochet hook is really small and uh, so it was a little bit of a challenge with this yarn. But you just need to take your time. We're only going under one loop, not both.
we're here at the end. We've went all the way around. So we're going to change to the 4.0 crochet hook. I'm going to do a slip stitch and I'm going to go into that first stitch. Looks really good. So the next round we'll do the same technique of doing a slip stitch and then after that I'm just going to start going around and ignore that slip stitch. So we're going to go over, go into the stitch, and pull it through. The very first one we went into the same stitch that we did the slip stitch. So now we're just going to continue to do a du half double crochet all the way around. We're going to only do one in each stitch, even around the corners. You'll see that it is going to start curving and going down to start making your little purse. So here we are at the end, and I am going to do a slip stitch here. This will be my last slip stitch. The next round, I'm just going to go right over it. That way it will just keep going around and I will not have to do that slip stitch anymore. I'm going to yarn over and go in that same stitch. Pull it through. Now you just need to do a slip stitch in each stitch and make it as long as you want your coin purse to be. You can make it long for a phone cover to put your phone in, cigarette case, whatever you want it to be. You could use different stitches if you'd like. You could change the colors. You could do a lot with this pattern. Do whatever you want to make it your own. Doesn't that look pretty? So I want to show you my other bags I've made. This one I made quite a while ago. And it has my lighted crochet hooks in it them separate from my other ones and then my Christmas bag which I made and I put that little charm on it and I use this Christmas bag in my purse still even though I made this at Christmas time I just love it just love that bag and I have my favorite little coin purse put a little owl on it and I keep my change in it and I've been using it for over a year and look at it it just uh, has been through a lot my granddaughter borrows it when she takes my money <laughs> and uh, it still looks great so I'm gonna work on this and ta-da so I sewed one um, button on one side just to give it uh, so something extra and I wanted to do it before I sewed the bottom now these buttons I bought in a container at the Dollar Tree. Nothing expensive. Now remember I said that that yarn would get stuck in the zipper? It's stuck in the zipper. So I'm going to pull the strands out and I will be gluing those because I don't want that to happen while I'm out and about. So I'm going to open the zipper just so I can get a better grip to put this other uh, button on. So at the Dollar Tree, on the way out there on the shelf, they had these buttons. It's just a little tiny jar, and they have some really cute buttons in there. So I thought, why not? I'll find something. I really like putting buttons on my things for decorations. It just is pretty. And this button is unique. It's large, and it's shiny. So it's a win-win. <laughs> I really like it. And I think the color matches my green quite well. <clears throat> so I'm just going to sew this on. that pretty there we 
go. I'm going to pull it tight on the inside when I tie that knot. So I tie my knot. And then I'd like to wrap it around twice. So I'm going to turn it and use that longer strand there. So it's tied. Now I'm going to take the other piece and wrap it around two times. Pull it really nice and tight. And I'm going to cut it off, but it's still going to leave a nice tail. Because when I glue it, I like to put the glue on and then come back when it's dry and cut those little ends off. So I'm going to use this E600. I really like this glue. I've been having a little bit of a problem with the glue drying in the tip. So I'm just going to give it a good squeeze. Oh no. <laughs> It's okay. It's okay. It's up and behind the button. Nobody's going to know. Just take the goober off. So I'm just putting a little bit on all of the um, knots that I have. That way I can clip them off. And I did not do these on the other per little purses that I made, and they've held up quite well. But I just wanted to do this little extra. So if you don't want to put a little bit of glue, you don't have to at all. It's just my personal preference. So now I'm going to let this sit and dry. And then I'll cut all those little ends off. And my pretty purse will be done. My little coin purse. I'm really happy with it. I do keep these little wipes and I'm just going to take that glue off my fingers. So now to close the bottom off, we're going to start in a corner. Make sure you start from a corner. I've uh, got it turned inside out. You're going to make sure that you go into each stitch. So go into that stitch that your, that your yarn is coming out of and go to the very next one next to it. And that's where you're going to start doing your slip stitches. So what you do is you're going to put it under two strands of the front, two strands in the back, pull your yarn through, and then take it through the yarn on your hook. And that is a slip stitch. It's going to look really nice on the other side. We are on the inside, but if for some reason you mess up and do it on the outside, it's totally fine. It will look good too. My other purses, I did a couple on the outside and it still looked really well. So you have a total of four strands, pull your yarn through, pull it through the yarn on your hook. I love this color. So we're getting close to the end. Make sure that when you come right here that you do that very last stitch. Because if you're going to use it for a coin purse, you definitely don't want your money falling out. So I'm just going to pull it up. And I'm going to cut the other side, my one strand. And I'm just going to tie a knot. nice and tight. I'm going to do another knot or uh, I'm going to pull it really tight and I'm not probably going to glue this one 
So I will probably just bury uh, my yarn here on the bottom. And I'll keep it inside. So if it ever does come uh, looser, undone, it will come undone probably on the inside. And I don't think that will bother me at all. So I'm just going to go through a little bit. Oh, I like my stitches nice and tight, and they're nice and tight. <laughs> so. So now my glue is pretty dry. So I am just going to go ahead and uh, cut these strands off. Nice and close. Looks really good. I'm pretty happy with it. This came out really nice. I didn't even use half a skein of yarn for this. Some more yarn my daughter gave me for Christmas, but she gave me so much. So fortunate. So, I'm going to turn it inside out. While I was waiting for the glue to dry, I did put on um, a little zipper thing that I made. I just had some wire and a glass bead, and it has green in it. It's a little bit darker green than the bag, but it uh, still looks really good. It gives it a little bit of character, and it's glass. So... I have my glass bead and my little plastic uh, buttons that look like they are wood. I'm really happy with it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. You guys have a great day. Stay safe. I'll be back soon. And give this a try. It is sim more simple than you think to make a basket. So, I thank you all for watching. Bye.